Acme. For those of you who didn't spend your childhood with your eyes glued to the TV screen watching Saturday morning cartoons, Acme is the name of the fictional company that appeared in almost every Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote cartoon. This company supplied Wile E. Coyote with a never-ending range of ridiculous products that would inevitably fail, generally with hilarious consequences. So where did the name come from? Some people think Acme is an acronym for a company that makes everything, but this is little more than a happy coincidence given that Acme had been being used in Hollywood since as early as 1920 in Buster Keaton's movie Neighbors, and by corporations before that, and acronyms weren't even a thing humans did at that point in time. In fact, previous to the mid-20th century, while abbreviations were prevalent in text, pronouncing them as words was not something people typically did, being something of a very modern phenomenon. According to linguist David Wilton, There is only one known pre-20th century English word with an acronymic origin, and it was in vogue for only a short time in 1886. The word is Kalinderies, or Kalinda, an acronym for the Colonial and Indian Exposition held in London that year. No surprise then that the word acronym didn't pop up until 1943. So if that's not where the name came from, what is? Without a doubt, the company name is used ironically in the Looney Tunes cartoon. Acme comes from the Greek meaning peak, zenith, prime. So, in the case of the company, essentially meaning best, when in fact the products offered by the corporation in the show are invariably prone to disaster, something which Acme even acknowledges through its slogan, quality is our number one dream. In the 1920s, alphabetized phone books like the Yellow Pages were growing in popularity, resulting in businesses rebranding under a different name in order to get to the top of the list and get seen by more people. Acme was a hugely popular choice for a name at the time, since the letters A and C are close to the beginning of the alphabet and the definition of the word suggests superiority. In more modern times, Amazon.com did the same type of thing when rebranding from Kadabra to Amazon, attempting to put closer to the top of the alphabetical online browsing indexes. In any event, Chuck Jones, writer, director, and animator who worked on Merry Melodies and, of course, Looney Tunes cartoons for over three decades, touched upon the name's more specific origin in an interview carried out for the 2009 film Chuck Jones, Memories of Childhood, in which he explained, since we had to search out our own entertainment, we devised our own fairy stories. If you wanted a bow and arrow, you got a stick. If you wanted to conduct an orchestra, you got a stick. If you wanted a duel, you got a stick. You couldn't go and buy one. That's where the term Acme came from. Whenever we played a game where we had a grocery store or something, we called it the Acme Corporation. Why? Because in the yellow pages, if you looked, say, under drugstores, you'd find the first one would be Acme Drugs. Why? Because AC was about as high as you could go. It means the best, the superlative. So although the fictional company may boast an interesting line of products, including the Acme Building Disintegrator and Acme Ultimatum Dispatcher, the origin of its name isn't quite as exciting. It was simply a commonly used name at the time, inferring a company that was the best, which the guys at Looney Tunes adopted and used with their tongues firmly planted in their cheeks. Bonus Facts the fastest recorded speed for an actual greater roadrunner bird is 26 miles per hour, 42 kilometers per hour. The kicker? Coyotes have a top speed of 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour. Bonus fact 2. In the cartoon, Acme is eventually revealed as being a wholly owned subsidiary of Roadrunner Corporation, which of course indicates that Roadrunner was in control of the company's products. His position would then allow him to pass on all the faulty or untested goods to Wiley Coyote, thereby sabotaging his plan before it was even put into action. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.